Yo people, Rimakuro here and today I have a review of the BMW 1 Series M Coupe. In short, 1M BMW. So, this beauty is right now on sale for 3,190 speed boost. Normally it's a bit over that, about 5 grand. However, I got this car as a gift from Topping Up, so since I saw there is a sale on it, I, sw I thought let's make a review of it. And I have to say I'm enjoying the car very much because I really do like how it looks. Especially that the body kit from the front looks pretty damn good, but the from the back looks, well, the typical, you know, roll cage thingy. There is quite annoying, but as a special edition comes pre-equipped race tuned ground limb parts and I've done some thin tingling with it and it has some nice aftermarket parts. Stage 3 lowering kit would be better to change with stage 2 but anyway it has a your typical setup of spoilers as per usual it doesn't have any body kits as you saw it has few hoods and with the drag version is pre-equipped with a no spoiler option. Uh, sorry it doesn't have hoods. It, you have a hood only with the drag version and without body kit it looks like this. The front gets bad. Anyway, the top speed of it as it comes out from the shop is 301 km per hour without NOS and with NOS 327. I suppose that's enough for spammers to enjoy. Also, since this is a drag version, I had to put some to do some drag tests on drag for tunpying with me being bad at double shifting. Anyway, result is as you can see. Decide for yourself whether it's a good one or bad. Since I don't care about drags until they fix them, I'm not gonna even touch them. Anyway, as it came out, I put it on Beacon End Station against your typical A-Class competition. The GT2 997 and a GT2 996 at the back. And first thing you can notice that is that this car is tremendously agile in corners. It's grippy, though when it comes straight from the shop, it's a bit too twitchy at least for my liking and it does get a bit drifty or it, rather it can lose its grip when doing some going over some things like sidewalks and so on that changes for better but as you can see it's its main domain are corners the straight the speed on the, your straight Things like this is not a good thing. Yes, you, you can spam with this, of course, if you like to ruin other people's fun and think only about winning, and then you, of course, you will be spamming with power ups, nos, and so on because you're an, uh, well, an asshole. So, yeah, you would win, but in a normal fair play circumstance, straight. You lose corners, you win with this car. That has to be remembered about this car. So we got 1 minute 33 seconds point for one, which isn't a bad result for a 680 overall car, which has not the best acceleration in the world. Now, I've put the worst engine possibly and some other parts in it, and the overall went up to 709. So, after its top speed and it got 315 km per hour without NOS and with NOS 342. Better numbers, better. And again Beacon Station. This time against your non-typical GT2996 flashing ghost lagging thingy and uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse Elite GST. Yeah. 
Well, what is it doing in Nikos? I don't know. And that was a bit too fast, even for my liking. So yeah. Anyway, when you put ultra part, it gets less twitchy, which in my opinion it gets to a point where it's perfect. The twitchiness of this car becomes perfect. It re it's responsive in the corners perfectly, and those those two guys are seriously a bit too fast and for my liking but well who knows maybe I'm just too slow like anyway due to help from that nice person I will got some speed so the time will be a bit faster nevertheless the car got more oomph after this and it's much more enjoyable of course you can put it in B class instead of A class, but the top speed will be greatly reduced. Uh, there's really no point because this is a fun car for fun. This is seriously a car meant for fun driving. And it really does it great. Now, as light and nimble as it is, it's would seem it would be shit in Team Escape, but surprise, surprise, it isn't. It's actually quite good because it's thin and very nimble. You can avoid all those stupid cops all the time, easy mode with you with your eyes closed and so on. And the best thing is that, well, you got seen also because when in Team Escape you're not gonna use it. But thing is. Ramming power of this car, even though it seems light, is actually quite decent for a car that's supposed to be light. Of course, it's EI, so fuck all lo logic, but still, as you can see here, normally you would go backwards flying in a car like this, but here, that was quite decent, especially with this here. I suppose if you're not gonna really, if you're gonna put some RAM mods on it, juggernauts, cooldown, duration, this thing can actually do some nice damage. Especially since it's it will be so nimble. So, to summarize this car, it's a very interesting car. It's not your best car, it's not something that will break records in tracks, track circuits, team escapes or something, but it's definitely good in pretty much all of them. And it's a very fun car to drive, I mean really it's just comparing to this 370Z is just like comparing to different, completely different cars. This car has a character, this, this car is, a, even though I hate that. This car is like that little puppy that just uh, wa wags all of his tail uh, all, all the time, you know, just... It, it, it just never runs out of energy, it's always cheerful, it's always happy, it always puts a smile on your face and so on. It's, it's, it, ha it gives you that feeling, even wall rides feel good with this car, even though you don't need wall ride really, but... That's really something amazing for this car. This car is really just meant for fun. Just going around, having fun, blasting, free roaming, doing whatever whatever thing you want. You can drift, you can do team escapes, you can do racing and you'll have a f big smile on your face because it's just fun. It's just groovy, it's just enjoyable. It's a really, really nice car drive in that matter. Engine sound, your typical BMW engine sound. I do apologize for the rendering problems, it just gets annoying lately. But the thing is, this car is just, the best thing it's just going is just go like this and do a donut. And can annoy people like those faggots in those McLaren Tractor Elite thingies and you can literally do donuts oh, like that and just have fun 
Because this fun, this car is really just fun. They, uh, they devs have actually replicated this car pretty damn well. Because in real life, it's a fun car. It's made to be a fun car. Here, it is exactly the same. Just fun. Just very nice to drive. And I suppose that's really is. It's one of my favorite cars right now. It's on top of my list when it comes to having fun in this game. If I want, if I want to have fun, I'll be taking either this or the Sterling Moss. That that's my choice for now. So yeah, if you really are looking for a con car that will bring some enjoyment and fun back into the game. I suppose you look for this car, especially since it's on sale. So, if you liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Also, donations of any kind of amount will be appreciated. The link is in the description. And well, see ya!